In this week's episode of Back to Basics with Evernote, it's all about search. Hello and welcome to this fifth episode of Back to Basics with Evernote. My name is Carl Pauline and today I want to talk to you about the best feature in my opinion of Evernote and that is its searching feature. Evernote is, this is to me the killer feature of Evernote which makes it far better than any of the other note applications out there. It's probably why I have been using it for getting on for nine years now. It is such a tremendous thing. Now one thing I should say is when you when you've only got a say up to about a hundred notes then the search functionality is just as good as everybody else's search functionality. But if you're using Evernote properly and it's been, you're using it for research material, reference material, memories, tickets, all the other stuff that Evernote is just so good at, then you need to have a very good search function. And Evernote does not disappoint in this area. It is just fantastic. Now, what I'm gonna do, there's so much about Evernote's um, search functionality that if I did try to show you all we'd be here forever. All I've done is I'm focusing on the basics of search. I am going to put a link in the notes section below where it will take you to more advanced search uh, options that you can see or at least read about and try for yourself. But what I want to do is to get you started with this Back to Basics series. So I'm just going to show you the basics of search. There's some really, really good search options here. Before I go any further, what I would like to ask is if, you, if you'd like this video, please click on the like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Also, for those guys of you out there who are really wanting to get in control of your time and your life, then I have the online course for you. I feel this is the best online course I have produced. There are full details on my website, which I'll put a link below. And if you enroll before the 17th of September, 2017, then you can take advantage of the early bird discount, which is a huge 25%. So please guys, if you haven't enrolled, it's a two hour course. You do not have to take it all at once. You can take your time because once you've enrolled, once you've got your 25% discount, you have access to that course forever. It's not going anywhere. And every three or four months I will be updating the course so it is a continuous thing and you don't have to pay any more. So now is the time to get yourself enrolled because this course will change your life and it will help you to focus in on getting control of your life and getting the stuff that you want to do in your life done. Okay, enough of my rambling. Let's move straight into this and let me show you these wonderful basic features of search in Evernote. The first thing I should point out is there are many, many multiple ways of searching within Evernote. And if I tried to show you all the various different computations of searches in Evernote, we would be here all day and you would stop watching this video. It would become very boring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link in the link section below in the notes of this uh, episode so that you can go and have a look and see what else you can do in search within Evernote. However, what I'm going to show you now is five of my favorite ways of searching for specific things within Evernote and then see where you go from there. You can also of course save your searches which I will show you in a second. Okay let's start with number one on my list here so we'll get up there. Let's start on number one which is the fastest way to search. Now most people think by going up into here that would be quite a fast way to search but if you are into keyboard shortcuts there is a fantastic way of searching in Evernote and it's the way I use Evernote every single day on a Mac, it is Command and J, and you bring up this window of this little pop-up. Now, basically, it says Switch Tool, which essentially my 
fool you into thinking you can only switch to labels or notebooks, how, tags or notebooks. However, you can search for specific things in here. So I can type in here, um, sorry, I got that. So again, we're gonna command J. So I could switch to almost anything here. Essentially, it starts off with your notebooks, but you can search for anything. So I could type in here, um, let's say I'm gonna search for, well, I could say search for Range Rover Velar, but let's, that's up there. So I'm gonna type in, um, let's type in my favorite author. And look what you can see, all these notes now start coming up. And I could search for Ian Fleming in all my notes if I wanted to, or I could just uh, search for things like that. That to me is the fastest way to search in Evernote. And it's one that you should use. And it is basically, um, I will put it up in here for you. Um, let's get rid of that. So basically it is, uh, let's see what happens actually. Command and then J. I've got no notes in there, but that essentially is all you need on a Mac to actually get to this. But it does also work on Windows. And just unfortunately, I don't have a Windows machine and I've never used it on Windows. But I will put a link in the comment section and you can have a look. So that's the fastest way to search. Second fastest way to search is going to the search box, of course, and then just look for anything. Let's put in pizza because I'm feeling very hungry right now. And as you can see, uh, all the notes that have got the word pizza in it down here are actually come up. So somehow somewhere in this note, there is a word pizza. It will probably be highlighted somewhere, but anyway, oh, there we go. We got the pizza, oh, piazzas, okay, that works. Um, we got pizza coming up here. So these are all notes that are related to pizza. Uh, another one is to use, uh, if you're searching for tags. Now let's say that um, you've got a lot of tags. And as you can see in here, I actually have a lot of tags in my Evernote. So if I think, well, okay, I really want to uh, find a specific tag. So all I would do is type tag, double dot, colon, and then the name of the tag. And if you know the name of the tag, then that's fantastic. So in this case, I'm looking for uh, the, my status tag on FES. And here I've got um, the two notes because I've just done a cleanup of my Evernote. So it's not showing uh, as many notes as it would have done had I showed you this last week. But essentially, that's what I have in there. So let's go back to the list that I want to show you here. And if you want to use, uh, if you want to look for notes that you have not put a tag in. Now, this is really good if you want to keep, make sure that all your notes are tagged. All you have to do is type in minus tag colon star. So I've got that one saved as a saved search. Now, as I say, I'm in just been just finished reorganizing my Evernote, cleaning it up and getting it back into ship shape and Bristol fashion, as we used to say. And so I've still got 149 notes to process with tags. But as you can see up here, there's no tags attached to any of these notes. And I find this particularly useful simply because uh, I like to find, um, to keep all my notes tagged. So uh, this is one of those wonderful things. And all these are related to clothes because I've obviously, absolutely, uh, I've probably accidentally uh, moved this a tag without knowing it, but I will get that sorted out sometime today. And um, finally, what I want to do is to show you a really cool tag, which is if you're looking for notes that you've created in say the last seven days or five days or whatever, you can actually just type in created and double dot colon minus day and then up day and then minus seven. So that's within the last seven days. Now, all my notes are probably going to show up because I used to have about 5,000 notes or 4,000 notes in this. I've just recently done a cleanup. So all my notes are now showing because I've just, they've all been used or created in the last seven days, according to Evernote, because um, I've just reinstalled this on my uh, Mac. But if I change that to actually, even if I change it to one, I don't think it's because I've only just, yeah, I only just updated my laptop today. But you would get all the notes that you've created in the last day. Be ignore my notes because, as I say, I haven't created 566 notes. <laughs> These are the notes that I left after my cleanup and Evernote. As I've just switched this back to my 
uh, laptop, my full Evernote account, it is still showing all these have been created today. But that is essentially one of the wonderful things that you can do with Evernote. So that's just an overview of the Evernote search. Um, there are many ways and I strongly recommend that you have a look at this particular um, website, which I will uh, put in the, li the link to this, I'll put in the notes section below. There are so many ways like in title, notebook, any tag, minus tag, so if you want to remove a tag from a search, created, and you can even go for longitude, latitude, and alti altitude if you really wanted to. Resource would be match it like uh, application or JPEG or whatever, updated. So there's so many things that you can actually search for. And I will put this link into the uh, note section below so you can get a really good view of that. Okay, thank you very much for watching this episode. Don't forget, if you really want to start mastering your time and your life, to enroll in my recently, uh, recently launched newest course, Time and Life Mastery. Uh, I'm sure you won't, disappoint, won't be disappointed. And apart from that, it just remains for me to wish you all a very, very productive week.